It's the Morning Goods with Madeline Woods on News Talk 1450 WOL, where information is power and it's Wellness Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you. So we're talking about the health of your feet. So many of us neglect our feet. Uh, we walk around them on a yeah. Walk around on them all day, and uh, we really got to get that together. Joining me is Dr. Yolanda Raglan. She is a um, podiatric surgeon, aka the Foot Fairy. That's what her friends call her, and her motto is transforming lives by transforming feet. Dr. Raglan, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, Madeline, and thank you so much for having me on your show. I really appreciate being here. I am so excited to talk to you. So uh, I got to start with first things first. Why do people call you the foot fairy? Well, like my motto says, I transform lives by transforming feet. So what I found in my formative years was that a lot of uh, women, especially African-American women, uh-huh. Um, have issues with their feet, particularly bunions and hammer toes. Um, They're painful, but um, moreover, they are unsightly and they're embarrassing. Mm -hmm. So I came, I I decided that when I went into practice, I would hone in and target uh, this demographic because it's my demographic. And I understand what it's like to walk in their shoes. Mm-hmm. I understand what it's like to be embarrassed uh, by having corns. I, too, have a couple of corns on my toes. Yeah. <laughs> and if I, could bend over, if I could bend over and do it myself, I would. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know anyone else that can um, do the procedures that I do. But they call me the foot fairy because it's, 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 even though it's not a man- magic wand, I don't have a magic wand and it does, the transformation doesn't occur immediately. Um, over a few months, they see the transformation happen and they think that they think it's miraculous. Mm hmm. I, I'm laughing because you actually said that uh, you wish that people could uh, or you can't bend over and do it yourself. Um, so you'd have to go to somebody else. But you have actually created your own procedures. You are really like uh, a one of a kind, but podiatric surgeon. And without getting too technical, tell me about some of the uh, advancements that you've made in your industry, your own procedures. So um, the one procedure that is sought after the most is my Tierra toe technique. Okay. And so what I did is that I can rid the toes of corns and I can also shorten the toes as well, but I can do it by hiding the incision. And when I don't hide the incision, the incision is virtually invisible. It it kind of looks like your normal skin lines on your toes. Wow. So to replace yeah, so to replace a corn with a tiny line that looks like it's part of your makeup of your foot anyway mm-hmm. is the ultimate uh um uh, uh trade off. Yeah. So so I have ladies that are just like, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, because it's cosmetic and we want everything to be beautiful. So, wow. First of all, I, did, I didn't know that you could do that. And I really didn't know that you could actually shorten someone's toe. I know women and I've seen men, too, where that second toe is longer than the big toe. So you can kind and of put that in alignment. You can get that back in, you know, in, in, in formation. Absolutely. So <laughs> what I tell ladies, what I tell ladies and men mm-hmm. um, is that your second toe, it's OK for your second toe to be a little bit longer or mm-hmm. even a little bit shorter than the big toe. But when you have like an extremely long set second toe, that's something called a Morton's toe. Mm. And that can be very painful and that can cause corns. And so I, when I fix the feet, I, I can judge how much bone work I need to do mm-hmm. in order to get that toe into the correct alignment. That's amazing to me. I didn't even know that was possible. Um, and you talked about men. Men have concerns, too. Theirs are obvious, obviously different than ours as women. Um, what are some of the things that you do to help men with their feet? Well, you know, Madeline, actually, their concerns are the same as women's, uh, it, it, believe it or not. It's just that they don't complain about it as much. Uh-huh. And because they have a wider shoe selection, so men can get triple E width 
yeah. and shoes. Yeah. I mean, if we were to get a triple E with and a shoe, it's an orthopedic, um, ugly shoe. Exactly. Ugly. And it's not pretty and for so, us. <laughs> right. So that's, that's not an option, uh, especially for the, the, the clientele that comes through my office. So with men, they, they too, um, want the same thing. I had a pro athlete retired, and I mean, and this guy was fine. I mean, like <laughs> drop dead gorgeous, right? Um, and <laughs> did he have messed up feet? All he wanted, yeah. And all he <laughs> wanted to do was wear sandals. He's oh, like, no. I just, he goes, I just want, yeah. He goes, I just want to wear sandals. Mm-hmm. And so I transformed the entire foot. Um, you know, bunion. Every single oh. toe had corns on it. It di- it didn't only have corns on the top. You can get corns in between your toes as well. Oh, my gosh. And so, yes, yes. So by doing the procedure, um, I rid him of all the corns. Not only that, he had some fungal nails. Now, that's not really my area of, that's not what I typically have patients come Excuse in. Excuse me. I am so uh, grossed out treat. right now. I, I'm yeah, about to yeah, be I, sick. I, I, I Just know. imagining I mean, what that, that looked that, like. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, and then when you, if you saw the guy's face, if you saw him, I mean, like he he's got that athlete's body, wow, he's a beautiful, gorgeous Ooh. man. And then you look down at his feet, and it's uh-uh. just like, oh my goodness, you know, it gives you that that Eddie Murphy boomerang effect, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and you're just like, oh lord, right. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? So oh um, I usually communicate. I usually communicate with this uh, with this uh, athlete's wife. Uh-huh. And so, you know, my patients always, they're, they're all allowed to call me. They're all allowed to text me. Right. So I'll get these texts back and I'll get a text back of, oh, look at my feet. Um, you know, they'll text me pictures in, in their sandals. And so I asked this wife, I said, well, um, you know, how does he feel about his feet now? Is, is he wearing sandals? She goes, actually, he is. I see him walking around in flip flops now because they live in a warm climate area. That is so cool. And, I bet you I know who it is. You know, Let's guess. Heart. If I guess, will you tell us? If I guess, no, I'm I kidding. Can't. I can't. <laughs> I would never do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish bet I could. I wish I wish he would let me, but he's, he's so right. embarrassed about That's it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Dr. Ragland, wait, hold on with us for a minute. I have so many more questions for you. It is Wellness Wednesday. We are talking to the Foot Fairy. She is transforming lives. I mean, corns between your toes and on your toes and fungus. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're going to cover it all in the morning goods with Madeline Woods on News Talk 1450. W-O-L. You got a question, call us up. It's 800-450-7876. Have a comment or question? Call in right now. 1-800-450-7876. The Morning Goods with Madeline Woods on 1450 WOL. It's the Morning Goods with Madeline Woods on News Talk 1450 WOL. My guest is Dr. Yolanda Raglan, a podiatric surgeon, also known as the foot fairy and we're talking about the condition of your feet if you're not happy with them what she can do to transform your feet and transform your life dr uh, raglan i gotta tell you that uh for women and i don't speak for all women but for a lot of women most of our foot problems come from wearing heels you know you talked about corns and all that but just the the pain that's associated with it and i gotta tell you full disclosure i promise you i will be 90 years old still rocking six inch stilettos and pushing a walker i promise you that's gonna be me i'm gonna be that old lady walking down u street in my six inch heels and a a walker and and and, you know that's the reason why i think my practice is so refreshing to um my my patients it's because i don't discourage the use of wearing heels what I tell people is, you know, you got to wear your shoes responsibly. Mm. Just like you got to drink responsibly, you got to wear your shoes responsibly. Wow. So what I advise women is to, first of all, wear a pair of shoes that's, that's comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it, it, it's it's got to be, it, if it hurts in the store, leave it in the store. I agree. Don't, don't get that one. Yep, choose, I, I totally choose, another, choose another pair of shoes. Um, another thing that women can do um, instead of trying to break in the shoes themselves is they can pre-break in the shoes. So they can purchase things like shoe stretchers. And mm-hmm. I mean, they, they, they don't cost a lot of money. They last 
forever. You, you put them inside of your shoes. You can even take some rubbing alcohol and put it inside of the shoes. If you put the alcohol, uh, if you put the al- alcohol on the outside of the shoe, it can ruin the leather. Uh-huh. So you put it in, you, you you just take a cotton swab and rub inside the shoe with the alcohol. And then you put the shoe stretcher on hmm. and you leave it there for a, for a couple of days. And voila, you've stretched your shoes out wow. without breaking it, breaking in the shoe with your foot, which can essentially break your feet. Mm -hmm. I love it that you are an African-American doctor specialized, well, not specializing, but you do focus on African-Americans and the foot problems that we experience because that's a real big thing for a lot of us. And, you know, black men are really in the feet. We were talking just a minute ago about some of the fetishes. And um, you have really helped a lot of women with, um, you know, scarring and those kind of things that happen after surgery. And because you are attentive to what happens with black skin, you make a big difference in everybody's life, in your patient's Absolutely. lives, I should say. Yeah, yes, uh, that, that's the, that was the whole point of starting the practice the way that I started the practice. Mm-hmm. That, like I said, I would see um, patients, I mean, like I would see hammer toe procedures that were done, and it looked like someone took a rake oh. and scratched down their feet, and uh-huh. I'm just like, that's not that necessary. Now, mm-hmm. see, when you're dealing with other different complexions like Caucasian skin, it heals differently. Mm-hmm. So when you make that long incision down the toe, that incision is not is, is not very visible when it, once it's all healed up. But in African American skin, because of the the, the makeup of the skin, yeah, and the we're pigmentation, more prone to scarring, mm-hmm. yeah, we're mm-hmm. more prone to scarring, keloids, um, something that we call a hypertrophic scar. It's not quite a keloid. People think that they are, but it's not quite a keloid. But it's still an unsightly scar. Mm-hmm. And so I have made sure that um, using the type of the techniques that I use to close is is basically the same type of technique that a plastic surgeon would use on your face. Mm. Just the fact that you take that much time and pay that much attention, I appreciate you for that. You know, I was making a joke about wearing my heels until I'm 90 years old, and and that probably really wasn't a joke. But, (laughs) you know, what are the best shoes for our feet? If we're going to be feet conscious and health conscious, what kind of shoes should we be wearing? Well, see, and that's the thing. There, there are different types of shoes for different foot types. So someone might have a more squared off foot in the front. Mm-hmm. So wearing a squared off shoe, a squared off uh, uh, toe front is probably more ideal for you. Whereas some people have that big toe leaning towards the second toe might not necessarily have a, 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 a bunion by, um, by any chance. But it is leaning over, and that is a, a, a natural way for the toe to lean. So, uh, so a, a shoe that's maybe a little bit more pointier or a rounder toe mm-hmm. may benefit that person. Mm-hmm. And again, like I said, purchasing the shoes that are comfortable for you to wear is really important. And again, wearing your shoes rep- responsibly. So I always say, Walk with a pair of safety shoes. Oh, uh-huh. you want to you want to carry that with you. So you don't want to if, if you know you're going to be standing long hours in your beautiful stilettos. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to give your feet a break. Yeah. in the interim, mm-hmm. so bring those safety shoes with you. You know, give your foot a break from it. Mm-hmm. And though, doing simple measures like that will take you a long way. Okay. Um, another, and then like a lot of people have issues with their pinky toes. So every, the foot looks fine. Everything, the foot is beautiful, but they've got these two unsightly bright corns on the side that hurt mm-hmm. really bad. Mm-hmm. So um, wearing something like a toe sleeve. So it's, it's a tubular type of thing. You can find it over the counter at any drugstore. It's called a toe sleeve? A toe sleeve? A toe sleeve. Uh-huh. Yeah, and inside of it has a gel or a silicone oh. lining. Uh-huh. So it cushions it and it stops that friction. Because the, the issue is that a lot of people think that their corns is a skin condition. Mm-hmm. It's not a skin condition. It's deeper than that. It's a bone issue. The joints are bending inside of inside of the shoe, and mm-hmm. then when the joint bends, it rubs, rubs up against the shoe, and that and then the skin wants to protect itself. 
itself. Wow. So it forms an armor, and that's the corn, because the alternative to that is ulceration, which mm-hmm. is the, the lesser of the two evils is naturally the corn, mm-hmm. but it's, it's painful and unsightly. Right. Listen, <laughs> so much more I want to know. Um, real quick, tell me about these new uh, couture sneakers that are out. They're not really comfortable, so are they good for us, or should we just pass on them? Um. If they're not comfortable for you, yeah. um, you should you, you should definitely pass on them. Mm-hmm. But I have to say, um, celebrities, I, I and I commend these these two celebrities that I can think of right off, off the top of my head, like Tracy Ellis Ross, yeah, and um, her and shoe game Serena is crazy, Williams. yeah. Yeah, it is Serena Williams. They have uh, Serena Williams had on a full length, beautiful evening gown. Sure did. You lift up her she, <laughs> you, you lift up her dress. Sure did. And she is rocking sneakers, sparkly kicks underneath there. <laughs> it was so and, dope. And, and I think I, I, I love that. I, I think that that's wonderful. I, I think do it's, too. A, it's a wonderful option. And I think the younger generation is really looking for comfort. Uh, I mean, sneakers are now a, a mainstay. Uh, men are wearing them with tuxes. Yeah. So, <laughs> Dr. Raglan, I have to go, but tell me, where can people find you? Where can they follow you? They can find me at FixYourFeet.com. You can follow me on Instagram. Please follow. Watch the stories on Fix Your Feet on Instagram. I'm going to start a new YouTube channel. It's not up and ready yet, but we're going to start a new YouTube channel, Dr. Foot Fixer. We're going to follow patients. We're going to show how the transformation is occurring. Um, and, of course, on Twitter and on Facebook. All of it is Fix Your Feet. You can also look for Dr. Yolanda Raglan. All those places you can find me. FixYourFeet.com. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Raglan. It's the Morning Goods Thank with Madeline so Woods on News Talk 1450 